Hello and welcome to Wednesday. So the topic of this week is changes that we expect from transitioning. I am not on hormones and nor do I have top surgery, so I would be considered pre-everything. Uh, and I also have to say that my research into hormones is relatively minimal because I'm still sort of at the earlier stages of that and I'm not, I'm still sort of trying to decide whether that's the avenue that I would want to go. I would say that certainly one of my biggest expectations as far as transitioning is concerned is for people to treat me differently. I think in our society, men and women are treated very differently, especially people who are more androgynous because that's confusing to people. And so they don't know how to treat you and so they sort of treat you more awkwardly. I've noticed that since even I just began binding and uh, referring to myself with male pronouns and a male name. I would expect that to continue, especially if I did get actual top surgery and were to go out on the beach without a shirt on. I mean, I'm sure some people would notice the scarring, but I'm not sure that their immediate first thought would be, mm, obviously that person was born, you know, with female genitals. So I think that if I were to be in that sort of situation, since I am small as a person, I'm only 5'2", two, possibly 2 and a half. Living as a guy, I kind of do experience this, and I would continue to expect to experience having to prove myself, like as a man, you know what I'm saying? Because I think that short men get treated differently even again than taller men do if you're unusually short as a guy i think that people you know you get you hear like wimp and like weak and you know stuff like that oh so, you know one of my mates in my german class you know he jokes about me about my height a lot but he's not unusually tall or unusually short and so he always ribs on me about being really short so i think with transitioning that sort of becomes an interesting part of my life because as a girl Five two and a half is like it's it's relatively on the short side of things, but I think the average for women is five three or something like that five three five four. So that's not really that short. So I think height is definitely something that's affected me in a way that I didn't expect since sort of starting on this whole transitioning journey, and especially if I got top surgery to the like so that there would be really no probable doubt in a lot of people's minds at least that I am a guy. They're just going to say, dang, that's a really short guy. And I've sort of come to terms with that, and I'm all right with it now. You know, I mean, that's just not one of those things that you can control particularly. So, hey. I also expect, based on my, pre like, my current experiences, to continue to be mislabeled by a lot of people and also to have to try to explain to them and, you know, to decide whether or not I want to just say I'm uh, you know, I'm trans, or if I want to explain about being bigendered, or if I want to live in stealth, it's kind of, that's something I'm still sort of trying to decide as well. At my university right now, I'm sort of doing both. Like, with my friends, they know, but then people, well, my close friends, I should say, know, and then people that I've met in my classes and stuff like that, they don't, I don't say anything like that. I just sort of, I'm doing the whole stealth thing. I, and I think to me, that's sort of a form of self-preservation because if I say I'm a guy, I feel like they are up front without saying, oh, you know, well, actually I'm not physically a guy, but blah de blah Like, I just feel like they treat me more like one of the guys than if I would say that I was in the process of transitioning and that sort of thing, which I know is kind of like the easy way out, I suppose, but it's, it's the way that I'm trying to cope with it at the moment. And as I said, I do kind of have one foot in each pond, so I know what it is like to be out and I know what it is like to be in stealth. And um, they're very different experiences. So I would expect that to continue. But I also do think that for the long run, it would probably, for me, just be, especially if I don't take tea, it would be easier for me to live in stealth just because I'm already going to have so much to, um, you know, to prove in the first place. I don't really want to get into, do, into a debate about being trans and bigendered with, with just random people. I'd rather just not. I'd rather have them look at me sideways and think, wow, that's an extremely feminine extremely short guy but I, it's not been my experience that people question it like when i uh was talking to a guy in my class one of my friends um he kindly just came out and asked me he was like well are you a boy or a girl he's like i know that's a strange question but and i just said oh i'm a guy and when you tell people that they just don't question it really at least i haven't had anybody question it like are you sure so that's kind of how i feel about that
And those are probably my main expectations about transitioning. If I were to take tea, I would expect to look something like halfway between my brother and my father. I would definitely, as far as tea is concerned, insofar as I understand it in any case, I would expect my jaw to get uh, more blocky. Uh, and maybe my hands to get a little, like my fingers to get a little bit thicker. Um, for me to grow, you know, more body hair, facial hair. But also since in my family, that's not a really, like, my family's not very hairy, so I wouldn't expect that I would be either. So probably not too terribly much in that department. I wouldn't be growing a goatee anytime soon, I can tell you that. Probably not. I would just, I guess I would just expect overall to have my facial features become the more masculine version of what they are now. Although I don't, I don't have the expectation that if I even took, even if I took hormones, that I would ever look extremely like masculine particularly because i'm coming from such a feminine base um oh, I, oh no so my voice i'd expect that to change as well and i've ho i've also heard that during the course of taking tea that you get really achy because everything's kind of like growing and shifting around so i would expect that as well and for obviously my emotional uh, levels to be all over the place so there's that and also i think i've heard people s mention on the uh, trans tag on Tumblr talking about going through bouts of extreme dysphoria because of the drugs uh, even though they are transitioning into looking more masculine you know it doesn't always go as fast as you want it to and so of course you know you're gonna feel really down and wonder like is it even working is it even blah 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 you know that sort of thing questioning yourself that's basically my main expectations I would expect to have to try to prove myself uh, and my masculinity because of my height and probably my features and uh, I also have the expectation that I'd probably have to live in stealth if I don't take hormones. And um, I also have the expectations about certain physical changes that would occur if I did take tea. And uh, I am also aware of the repercussions of you know taking, doing top surgery and taking hormones and that sort of thing. But I do think for me personally, it is much more likely that I will get top surgery than take hormones. I know of at least a couple of trans guys who don't take tea for various reasons one of them's a singer um my personal belief is i just i i don't even i don't even have vaccination shots i've never had a shot in my life and the idea of putting something that unnatural into my body just kind of weirds me out a little bit even if it would make me look closer to how i wish i looked it it wouldn't be natural and so personally i'm just not for doing that kind of a modification right now maybe I'll change my opinion in the next few years but since I've finally just come to grips with the way I look right now I think I need to sort of live with that for a while before I would even consider doing something like tea and that's pretty much all I have to say about that so I've kind of rambled on and now I have to go edit down and until I see you next Wednesday have a great week and